Okay. I'm research biologist Sharisha No Rose of ACES American Crocodile Education Sanctuary, and this is one of our croc crusaders, Shelby. Well, Shelby, what's your last name? Leva. Leva. Shelby Leva from Boca del Rio, true? Yeah. Okay. Shelby today is going to help us re-release this little baby American crocodile. This little hatchling we're going to call it is almost a year old. It was from last year's clutch and we're going to teach Shelby how to hold it and let it go. The reason Aces had this little hatchling in its possession was because we found it in a development area where it was like the hole that it was in was like all drying up and everything because of the development and it didn't have any food and it was starving to death. So we force fed it and nursed it back to health. It's gained a few ounces. It's feisty feeding on its own so it's ready for re-release. Do you want to name it, Shelby? Yeah. What are, you, what are we going to call it? Leva, after your last name, that works. So this is Leva. So Shelby, what I want you to do is when I hand you the little croc, we treat every croc as if it's a 20 footer because this little guy can still bite you. So you'll put your two fingers like this and just hold it in your hand and then we'll let you sit it in the water and then just kind of give them a little push and let them swim away. So you, this time you let them go for yeah. two. Now I want to ask you while you hold them, can you tell us anything that through the, all the time that we've been here on the island in the last six months, what have you learned about aces? That they caught a crop that around our area that they put a magnet in his head to get him confused and all of those stuff and to get him and re re release at another place and so he could um, get um, better and this, this some people do we stop shooting him and all of those stuff because over there where I live those people didn't like him, they were shooting him out of those stuff, they pick up a piece of his tail and all of those stuff. So I'm, I'm glad they take him out of that place. So in this case we rescued the crocodile from people instead of rescuing people from the crocodile, true? Yeah. Yeah, and so we relocated that crocodile way up north. Um, now Aces, we all know, was lost in a fire about six, six to eight months ago, last September. And we're trying to rebuild an ACES right now in Belize City. Do you think that's a good thing, Shelby? Sure. The, so the people could not kill the alligator and that stuff. And now, Shelby, you're going to let this little guy go. This is what ACES is all about, rescuing, helping crocs, re-releasing when we can. And when we can't, if they're problematic, we keep them in captivity where children can come learn. So you've learned a lot, right? Yeah. ACES hasn't been to your school yet, but we're going to try. So let's let this little guy go. I'm going to let you do it all by yourself. Fishes right here. Yep, he will come right. He will come right here where we release him, and he will survive. Part of what ACES does in the education is teaches students how to collect scientific data and the importance of it. And in this case, because we let this little crop go right here, we want to be sure that we know where we released it. And so we're going to teach him how to use a GPS to mark his point. You can see the little map. Right there is where we're standing. So you're going to push mark button right there. Just push that for me. And then enter right there. Yep, number 43, and that's where we released them. And see all the dots? That's where we see Crocs. Pretty cool, huh? All right, thanks. Let's please, please donate, donate to Aces and take, take a, a bite, bite out of, of extinction. extinction. That was good. Please donate to, to, um, to the Aces so they could take a bite of donation. <laughs> <laughs>